Uncommon dads affirm their kids. And you know, it's, it's interesting uh, that you know, whether you're a Christian or not, you know, one of the things that I, I think really makes a lot of sense is you, know, you can look at the, the story of, of Christ at that moment of being baptized. And, and a lot of people know this, that, you know, that you know, here's Christ being baptized and, and God the Father you know, affirms him. He says, this is my son whom I will please, right? So he, there's that affirmation. And it's interesting because in the very next chapter, um, Jesus is led in the desert to be tempted in all ways, just as we, and yet without sin. So there's a principle there, which is affirmation before temptation. Affirmation before temptation. And one of the things you have to think about as an uncommon dad is the fact that your kids are gonna be tempted. I don't care where you live, I don't care what you do, the reality is uh, there's always gonna be a temptation uh, to draw your kids away from what they should be doing or what you would have them to do. And if your kids ha haven't been affirmed, if they don't know whose they are and they don't know who they are, if they've never experienced the real thing, then any imitation will do. So the key there is, is, is to be, make sure that you affirm your kids. And, and the other thing that's key about affirmation is that you're aff affirming their being, not their doing. And that's really, really important, that you separate being and doing. Because you think about it, that's what love actually is. When you love someone, you separate someone's being from someone's doing. And affirmation is an amazing way. This is my son, whom I love. What is he doing? He's separating doing from being. Why? Jesus hadn't done a single miracle, hadn't done anything, hadn't started his ministry, but he was affirming his being, not his doing. And I think there's a principle in there for any dad. You know, one of the practical things that you can do that I found really worked well for me was honestly, you just lay your hands on your kids and you pray with them. It's an amazing thing to do. You know, when I was coming up, uh, there was this commercial used to come on at the end of the night. It, was all, it always said, do you know where your kids are? Some people watching this may be old enough to remember that, but that was how TV sort of ended. Do you know where your kids are? It was a really interesting question. The answer should be yes. Well, you could start the same kind of thing around affirmation. Have I affirmed my kids this week? Have I affirmed them for their being separate from what they're doing? And, you know, and I think getting into a habit of asking yourself that question you know, on a daily and weekly basis really can give you the trigger that you need to make sure you do that. And you look for something that give, you look for an opportunity that's going to give you an opportunity to do that. But you've got to be intentional about it because if you're not, uh, then you'll miss that opportunity and uh, they'll be uh, more vulnerable uh, to an imitation uh, affirmation as opposed to a real affirmation which will come from you. <laughs>